brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Mother Nature playing her greatest hits all across the island. Some of the video is viewer submitted and others shot by our team. The flooding had island residents for the past 48 hours flooded out and fleeing for higher ground. Here's the scene near Polaris. Relentless rains turning the stretch of road into a high water hazard. In Agate, no way to get past this bridge as the rising water left it impassable. Further south in Pneumatic, the river was getting dangerously high and the waters were rough. Just around the way from the Umatic Bridge, the road was impassable. Homes like this one were completely flooded. From north to south, the soggy situation was so bad. Governor Eddie Calvo called island mayors to Adaloop. Jigo Mayor Rudy Matanani. In my village, the funding basin at uh, Mariana Stairs is, is filling up faster than usual. And uh, one of the streets in uh, 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 Mariana Stairs is kind of overflowing. The island placed under a flash flood warning. Many weren't expecting the damage to rise to this level. Obviously, as anyone can see, we're having some major monsoonal uh, activity here in Guam and, and fl flash floods uh, that have been occurring island wide. Governor Cavill corralling the resources of Gov Guam to help flooding victims. We, we're working with uh, the National Guard and Homeland Security Civil Defense. I will be calling up uh, the National Guard uh, to uh, utilize their assets, equipment, and personnel uh, in shoring up some of the gaps that we have uh, within this community. The immediate priority is to ensure the protection of life and property. Adaloop's main focus? All areas where there's potential loss of life. Uh, also in major assets that are so important for uh, stability in the community, such as ensuring bridges don't uh, 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 get overwhelmed and uh, are rendered unusable. If it comes to the point where a presidential emergency is called, uh, and then of course with that in mind, then our federal partners can assist even more. Late Tuesday afternoon, the Guam Homeland Security stood up its Joint Information Center, ready to answer calls for help. Guam Homeland Security spokesperson Jenna Blas. If anyone would like to report flooded areas or impassable roadways, they're able to contact the Joint Information Center at 478-0208-09 or 10. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.